to Learn Bite, the show that delivers bite-sized pieces of wisdom so you can learn how to increase your efficiency and productivity, embrace your natural creativity, and lead with impact. I'm Samantha Garrett from Using Technology Better, and joining me today to share their wisdom is Mike Redding. Hello, Mike. Hey, Sam. How are you doing? I'm well. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So Mike is the founder, visionary, and commander-in-chief here at Using Technology Better, which also means that, yes, he is my boss. <laughs> uh, but that's not why I've invited him on the show, just so you know. I've invited him on the show because he actually had some really, really interesting things to say about his chosen topic, which is leadership, and because I genuinely think Mike is an outstanding leader who's created a great culture here at Using Technology Better, which makes it a really, really great place to work. So I'm not just like trying to get employee of the week. So I wouldn't say no to that kind of honor, but there is actually a really good reason why Mike's here. So before we jump in, Mike, to your eight minutes, uh, eight questions in four minutes, I'd love you to share a little bit about yourself and what you're passionate about. Yeah, great. Thanks, Sam. So uh, as Sam mentioned, I'm the founder of Using Technology Better. I used to be a high school science teacher and then taught history and geography for a little bit as well. And uh, so pretty stoked to um, be working in an industry where we get to do a lot of training and helping people uh, use their tools, their productivity tools a lot more efficiently. Uh, yeah, so I live in Queenstown in New Zealand. So I love to snowboard and, and to get up on the ski slopes with the kids on, and the wife on the weekend. Uh, that's about it for now, I think, Sam. And we know that you're definitely a fan of working anywhere, anytime, because we often have meetings with you up on the ski slopes. <laughs> exactly. Make it work. You've got to work remote, so why not there? Exactly. All right. So uh, well, I think we should jump into it. So as you know, Mike, this show is all about bite-sized pieces of wisdom. We want to keep it short and sharp. So that's why I'm going to put a timer on for four minutes. Now, I've got eight questions for you. If you beat the clock and come in under four minutes, you get to ask me a question. So let's see how quick you are. Awesome. Let's do this. All right. I'll just scoot across, click start, and we'll go. First mobile phone and current phone. I actually can't remember my first mobile phone. I do remember being a resistor to the whole mobile phone movement. Uh, I do remember it was like a brick. Uh, at the moment, I've got an Oppo Zoom 10, I think it's called. I love that you resisted to the first mobile phone and now you're running using technology better. What can exactly. I say? There's a whole story behind that. <laughs> <laughs> for another day. Uh, what is the most important quality for every leader to have? Yeah, I think a leader needs to be able to see beyond, uh, see further. That's a whole part of being a visionary is uh, being able to just see further than anyone else can see and probably clearer than anyone else can see. What do you find most rewarding or most challenging about being a leader? Yeah, for rewarding, I think uh, growth is where I get the most reward, not just growth in terms of company and revenue and numbers, but and how many people we train, but more so in seeing the team flourish, uh, people discovering their skills, flourishing under different mindsets and things like that. So definitely growth would be uh, where I see good opportunities. I think um, in terms of some of the challenges we have, because we're 100% remote, in our company, just developing culture and community is one of the biggest challenges we have and how do we do that really well? And that's probably a challenge a lot of leaders will be um, totally resonating with now because of the huge shift to virtual work. So yeah, exactly. Um, what's the one thing you tell yourself when facing uncertainty? Yeah, the one thing I'm constantly telling myself is that you get what you focus on. So if you focus on the negative, uh, you'll generally get the negative outcome. And if you focus on the positive, you'll get the positive outcome. So spend a lot of time just trying to think about positive things, uh, seeing the good in every opportunity and uh, yeah, staying focused on keeping my energy levels high and good. Biggest leadership lesson so far? Definitely around that, around energy, mindset, um, keeping your you know, focus on the main thing. I think uh, quite often we can self-sabotage our success uh, because we think too small. So definitely a leadership lesson around mindset for sure. So if there was one person that you could spend an hour with, Mike, who would it be and why? Yeah, there's a leadership guy by the name of John Maxwell. He's in his 70s at the moment. He's been doing leadership for years. He's written about 30 books, uh, just seems to, I love the way he communicates and the way he thinks. So yeah, spend an hour with him, that would be awesome. So that might lead into question seven. You've got a minute 30 and two questions left. 
the book video or podcast that you'd recommend to others? Is it one of John Maxwell's 30 books? Uh, could be. Um, <laughs> yeah, just go read them all. They're great. Uh, he also has a podcast, the John Maxwell Leadership Podcast, which is worth a listen. Uh, but I think in terms of podcasts, I'm listening a lot to another guy who's got a podcast called Mind Your Business. And uh, it's all about mindset and spirituality, and but it's all in a business framework. So it's quite, quite an interesting, uh, different way to look at leadership and business, uh, very different to the way we're taught to think. So Awesome. And now I think about that, I'm pretty sure you sent us as the team one of his episodes and I really, really loved it. So I'll definitely put the, the link to that podcast below and to John Maxwell too. Sounds great. Thanks, Mark. Um, so you've got 44 seconds to answer this last question. How do you use your leadership skills to make a difference to the world? Yeah, I think just like developing a great team and a great culture so that you guys love coming to work, that it's a great team to be a part of. And then the work we do has impact on people uh, right around the world in terms of making their lives more efficient, effective, reducing stress. And that leads to all sorts of positive things. Awesome. So good news, you've got 19 seconds left. Well, it's a bit less now, but you can ask me a question if you want. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Uh, Sam, can you uh, log into my emails and reply to that and just get me back to inbox zero for me, please? Totally, Mark. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, done. Well, there you go. You, you've run out the clock now with that. So I feel like I'm committed to actually managing your email while we're recording, which is not great. Yeah. Um, one thing is just reflecting as you were speaking, though, um, the whole thought about... Um, you get what you focus on and focusing on the positive and managing energy around the positive is just the thought that I, you know, I've said this to you before, like Mike, you're one of the most optimistic people I know, but not in like a like delusional kind of way, like very much grounded in reality. There has been times during COVID where I may have urged on delusional, but you know, we'll, we'll put that aside for another day. But what I was thinking about was, um, that characteristic in you as a leader, the effect that has on me as an employee is that I feel I could bring any mistake, any problem, any issue to you and we'd find a solution because you actually have that idea of focusing on the positive and I know that translates to finding a way out, finding solutions. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with the audience because I think it's always important to think about the leadership characteristic or and then the flow on effect to the people that are actually following you as such as employees or whatever. That's awesome. You've got to have transparency, hey. So if you can't trust your employees, why the heck are you employing them? So uh, we work on a very high trust model and part of that is transparency and just um, one of our core values is make it better. So uh, being able to have that relationship where we can talk about things and find a positive way forward uh, is, is, I think, essential. I don't understand why more businesses don't work that way. But maybe a discussion for another day. Yeah, In maybe. the meantime, if I clean up your emails and delete everything and destroy everything, I can come to you and we'll find a solution. So. We will. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, um, Mike, if people want to find you, apart from the Using Technology Better website, we're not here to do self-promotion of that, but where could they find you if they wanted to actually connect with you personally? Yeah, so I'm always happy to answer emails, especially now that you're um, PAing for me. So it's just Mike at usingtechnologybetter.com. You can also find me on all the different social media platforms, usually just at Mike Redding. And uh, yeah, start a conversation. I'd love to get to know you a bit. Awesome. And we'll, we'll pop links below so you can have some Mike for sure. So. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So thanks again. Um, and everyone, if you've enjoyed today's conversation and you want to keep learning alongside me, we'd love you to subscribe to the Using Technology Better YouTube channel. Or if you're listening to the podcast, you can follow the show so you get notified about all the new episodes. Now, we also have a fortnightly newsletter, which is a little bit of a friendly hello from me, which shares strategies to be more efficient, more productive, more organized. So if that sounds like your thing, there's a link below. You can sign up and start getting that in your inbox. So that's it for today, but I will see you again soon in another bite-sized episode of The Learning Journey That Is Life. Bye for now.